Hey guys and welcome to another No Hands Proxies video tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get Google Past Proxies so that you can use the, uh, the proxies for searching in tools such as No Hands SEO, GSA, uh, Scrapebox, Gscraper and pretty much any other tool which um, can search or scrape Google uh, and take proxies. Now a lot of people get in touch with me and, and say th things along the lines of uh, they weren't able to get many proxies for searching in Google, um, that they, they've set everything up right and that they've done the anonymity uh, minimum to anonymous uh, and things like this. But all you need to do is check for Google. You do not need to change anonymity levels. Now that might seem obvious to some but some others just assume that you need to be hiding your IP totally so you, you either need anonymous or elite proxies um, but that's just not the case so I'm going to go through every setting exactly that you need to set in no hands proxies to ensure that you're getting a good amount of Google Pass proxies okay so start off with we're going to go straight to the to the settings. Now in the proxy limits you'll see there's a retest working proxies option which is set to 30 minutes by default. Now for searching in Google because there's quite a high turnover rate of proxies that are usable um, you want to be rechecking them more like every uh, 15 minutes or so. Now what that does is make sure that every proxy has been checked in Google within 15 minutes. Now that differs from other proxy harvesting tools in that they will check their entire list and then they'll wait 15 minutes before rechecking the list. That's not how No Hands Proxies works and it's also why No Hands Proxies is able to get far more Google Pass proxies than any other proxy harvester because it will make sure that every proxy in your list has been checked within that 15 minute period. It doesn't check them all and then wait 15 minutes and then start checking the list again it will wait till well, it will continue checking and harvesting and so on but whenever a proxy is has been checked um, 15 or more than 15 minutes ago it will recheck it so every proxy is at least fresh within the last 15 minutes um, you can set it lower but I wouldn't really go any lower than 10 or 12 minutes because you, you go lower than that and you start hammering the um, search engine and you're probably more likely to get the IP address limited. So 15 minutes should be a good balance between making sure that your proxies are fresh and also not overdoing it. Now worker threads, I'm just going to set this to 35 for this test. Your um, connection could probably take more than that or less than that, but 35, it's it's a fair um, a fair number of threads to show just to show you how quickly and easily you can get um, a lot of Google Pass proxies. Okay, now the next thing is we go to proxy testing settings. Now this is where you set no hands proxies to check that your proxies are usable in Google. Now I'm going to check Google search and that's it. You do not need to set a minimum anonymity at all. You don't need to touch that. A lot of people assume that you need anonymous or elite proxies. That is not the case. Not for searching in Google. Okay and um, so all you need to do is check Google search. Don't touch the anonymity it's not necessary you'll just be limiting the amount of proxies that you can uh, use okay so that's all you need to do to get Google proxies all you need to do is check that box it couldn't be simpler okay now in the output proxies option because obviously you need to get the proxies from no hands proxies to your um, favorite tool we're going to go save to file because obviously that's the easiest way to get the proxies from um, this tool into your tool so when you click on save to file you get this um, output to file box you want to leave it set as a .txt file and what that will do is it will output the proxies one uh, proxies per line and you'll just get a, a file with all the proxies in it so we're going to select what file we want it to go in now uh, I'm going to choose this google proxies .txt file um, it already exists do you want to replace it yes please now do not change the, the minimum anonymity. You do not need to change that for Google Pass proxies. It's not necessarily necessary and you will limit the amount of proxies that you get that are usable. 
Now the only other thing that you do need to check is the only output website passed option. Now what that will do is that will make sure that the proxies that you output adhere to whatever um, checks that you've set in the proxy testing settings, in which case this is Google search. Okay, now add that. Now we want to output the list every minute. So I'm going to change that from 15 to one. What that means is that your proxy list is output often, but not so often that it's constantly got a lock on the file. So one minute should be plenty to output your, all of your proxies and it means that your proxy list is always at least um, within 15 minutes fresh. Okay, so I'm going to save those settings. Now that is all you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to quickly recap just so that you, you know. I'm going to change the retest working proxies to about 15. You're going to tick the Google search. I'm going to set the output options, okay, which in the output options all you do is you select the file and check only output website pass proxies. That's all you need to do and then save the settings and then hit run. And as soon as you hit run, no hands proxies will start checking, uh, sorry, it will start harvesting proxies from the built-in proxy sources list and when it's finished harvesting from those, it will start checking the proxies. Once it's found a group of working proxies, then it will start checking those working proxies against Google. And then when it's found some Google Pass proxies, that's when it will start outputting to the file. Okay. Now, to ensure that your list is fairly unique to you and not to other users, like some tools will literally just use the built-in list. No hands proxies doesn't do that. Once it's found a bunch of proxies from that list, it will then start searching in Google for um, new proxies uh, that have been uploaded to the internet within the last day or so. And what that means is that your proxy list will be completely different to the next user. So you're not just entirely relying on one standard list. No Hands Proxies is actually going out and finding new proxy sources for you without you having to do anything. Now, as you can see, it's been finding lots of working proxies. It's been weeding out all the bad proxies and um, it hasn't yet got to the uh, checking Google part. But when it has, that's when it will start outputting to a file. So I'm going to leave that running for say 10 or 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and show you how many uh, proxies it has found that can be used for searching in Google. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes. Now you can see that it's still finding working proxies, it's still checking um, against Google. You can see in the proxies list here we have there was quite a big list of, of proxies at first that didn't pass Google but now there's a, a good mix. You see the ones with the ticks, these are the ones that have passed the website check which in our case is just Google and the, the ones with the, the red cross are the ones that don't pass. Now it's perfectly normal for there to be a lot more that don't pass than do which is uh, the whole reason that you need a tool like No Hands Proxies to filter all of the, the proxies out for you. So I'm going to open up the file and go to go to the folder which is in the documents no hands SEO folder. Now it was the the Google proxies folder. I'm going to right click and edit with Notepad++ just to show you that there is 51 lines. Each proxy is on its own line and there's oh, 50 proxies. So that's 50 Google Pass proxies within a quarter of an hour of running. So I know we had to set um, three or four different settings to get no hands proxies to find these proxies for you and to check them and to output the, the file but ultimately that will take you a minute, two minutes um, and then from that point on all you need to do is load up no hands proxies and click the start button and then within 15 minutes you could have 50 Google Pass proxies um, for use in any tool that you like. Now I have used a lot of other um, proxy harvesting tools in the past, obviously um, being the creator of No Hands SEO for years, um, I even relied on, on some of them, but 
it just became very apparent that they weren't able to get more than 10, 20 proxies output to a file. And even then, when they were checked in no hands, there was just very few of them worked. You were very lucky to get 10. So here we've now got um, a very easy way of getting at least 50 Google Pass proxies. Now, I'm sure if I was to leave this running for an hour, that there'd be at least 100. Um, it, it's very common for there to be 200 or more Google Pass proxies um, because as you can see there's still 10,000 proxies that are waiting to be checked. Okay so I said that if I had time that I would leave it running for an hour just to see how many proxies it would find within an hour um, just so that people didn't assume that the 50 proxies it found within 15 minutes was like a maximum amount of proxies that that could be found. Now bearing in mind we are just running at 35 threads so if your connection can handle more than this then obviously by all means you can run with more than that. So I set it running 50 minutes ago I uh, haven't left it running for a whole hour yet but 50 minutes ago I started it running and within 15 minutes found that it had been able to find uh, around 50 or 57 proxies um, that were usable in Google. Now I've come back 50 minutes later and I'm going to see how many proxies it has now. Uh, 121, because the last line's blank, yep, 121 Google passed proxies. Okay, so that goes to show that if you leave it running longer, it will find more proxies. Obviously, um, it's not just going to stop there, it's going to continue on uh, finding more proxies whilst also main maintaining the current list of proxies, making sure that they still work and ultimately that the working proxies still work in Google for searching. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful to some. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below or get in touch via email at support at nohandsseo.com. Um, I do check the comments section below quite often, so uh, you know you don't have to email or jump on the support forum or anything like that to get in touch. You can just leave um, a comment in the section below. Okay, so again, I hope that's been useful. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, get in touch. Okay. Cheers.